the weekend has officially begun and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. Well guys for the Philadelphia 76ers they come in off the watch to Chicago. While shooting as poorly as they did there was very little chance they were going to win that game guys. Yeah there was sort of a snowball effect in the game that I saw. I mean what started as a cold night for a few guys became contagious and became a cold night for everybody. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Matt Lamar is out there with Ray McCallum. Then there's Rudy Gay. Then there's Evans. And it's Cousins in at the five down low. Clock at four. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Konjak down the shot. Well, Nerland's Noel's rookie season, essentially a medical redshirt, recovering from ACL surgery in early 2013. So, but this will be his true rookie season. And Nerlens Noel projected as the number one draft pick based on his defensive impact as a freshman Clark at Kentucky. But the knee injury dropped him to number six. Yeah, you're drafting that high. General managers looking for an immediate impact player in the draft. Concerns about that knee and his slight build caused him to slide. But if he gets healthy, and add some weight to that frame, I think he could be a real presence defensively. And the second free throw, good. The Kings one of the youngest teams in the league. They're trying to build through the draft, but with mixed results over the last couple of seasons, Marcus Cousins, the only player who's truly distinguished himself as a significant building block. Here's Cousins. Soft touch off the glass. So it's Philadelphia now. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? I caught up with head coach Brett Brown. He told me he's wary about how they'll contend with DeMarcus Cousins inside. He said he's a beast in there, no doubt about it. Size, length, strength, and a ton of skill. The talent is really off the charge with him. And guys, he knows it won't be easy to muscle Cousins away from the rim, but he said that's what they've got to find a way to do. It won't be easy. Thanks again, Doris. Jason Thompson is checked in for Sacramento. And Bede gets to Amba Amute. Just five to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. And Bede's got his first pass. And that's a really deft touch right there, guys. And he just guided that ball back up and in. Clark, just a fingertip touch on the ball. Really well done. Yeah, you don't need to catch it and gather and try to go back up if you've got that type of angle. He really took advantage. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Outside Jackson. Outside Jackson on the mark with the 15 footer. You can't give him that shot. A few open looks are all it takes and he can really get rolling. On defense, Philadelphia. Here's McCallum, averaging eight points a game. Gay outside. Here's McCallum, Carter Williams covering. There's the block. For Philadelphia, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Jackson kicks to Noel. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Out to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Jackson passes to Carter Williams. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Carter Williams has got himself on the board with three there. The Kings trail by four. Here's McCallum. The pass to Gay. Thompson sets the pick for Gay. Feeds it to McCallum. McLemore with the ball. Jackson on him. It's blocked. 
And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Straight to the bucket with a nice head of steam. Well, no reason to slow it down when there's nothing in the way. Here's McCallum. Down low and stolen by Noel. Here's Jackson. That drops. Jackson's got six. Wow, just a tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball for them, guys. Yeah, when they put it up, it's gone in. So the Kings called timeout. They're first. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And I think, Kevin, you know, it really showed how important it is to have a strong bench performance. If you go out on the road, you can't rely on your starters night in and night out. The reserves have to contribute and help them out. I think we definitely saw that, Steve, throughout the game. They were really tied together as a team. Didn't make any difference who was out on the floor. You'll take every road game win you can, and they're happy with that one. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And McCallum kicks to McLemore. He's looking for Cousins and finds him to end the run. And a foul call on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Last season, the Kings inking DeMarcus Cousins to a big four-year contract extension, and he rewarded them with the best season of his young NBA career, setting career highs pretty much across the board. You know, in the past with Cousins, I think he had tended to fall in love with the perimeter jump shot. He's got a good one. He can make it. But, you know, when you look at his size and strength, it's hard not to think that he should be taking advantage of that closer to the rim and putting more pressure on defenses as a result. I think last season he did commit to attacking inside the paint, and we saw the results. They were pretty good. That's off his run, so he misses both. And Steve, it's pretty clear that DeMarcus Cousins has solidified his place as the Kings franchise centerpiece. Yeah, the future's bright. I mean, last season he was a contender for the most improved player in, in the All-Star game. I mean, if he can continue to produce and help the Kings become a winner, then the accolades will follow. The Kings trail by eight. Game with it. Now defended by Carter Williams. Now here's McLemore. Tight defense on him. Here's Cousins. And it's Noel with the rebound. Philadelphia's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. It's stolen by McLemore. To the middle. Here's McCallum. No good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And this is the first season matchup for them against this 76ers team. Yeah, they faced each other twice last season. And they split those two games in what really wasn't a season to remember for either team. Passes it to McLemore. Here's Cousins. Shot is blocked. To the middle. Here's Jackson. Game with the block. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Trying to get back on track. Good. Cousins has got his second bucket of the game to go. Steve referenced the series between these teams a year ago, and Clark, it's, it's a good thing they matched up well against each other because they didn't match up well with too many other teams. Well, that's exactly right, Kevin. I mean, we don't mean to make light of it, but the reality is neither one of them gave opponents very much resistance or too many problems. It was really a down year for both teams. Tough seasons, you're right. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. Michael Carter Williams with that rare height at the point guard spot. He's 6'6, long arms. And one thing you love about taller point guards, the ability to really survey the court and 
pass over the top of the defense. And for Carter Williams, great quickness at his height. And Clark able to defend smaller players and get by them to penetrate on the other side of the floor. And he needs that, Kevin, because his jump shot is still very much a work in progress. It's not broke, but it's wobbling a little bit. He's got to tighten that thing up going forward. Shots good by Gabe. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there for him. The 76ers leading by six. Carter Williams kicks to Noel. Right side, Jackson. With some arc, and it's rejected. And now Sacramento on the break. Nobody near Gay. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Gay's got his second bucket of the night. That's a confident shooter right there. Passes up an easy two on the break. Instead, he lets it fly from the three-point line. Gay against Mbaamute. Noel dishes to Carter Williams. Five on the clock. Here's Jackson. Nice shot from the way. Jackson's got eight points. And Sacramento has possession. Trailing by five. Here's McCallum. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Nobody near Gay. Misses and he wants that one back. Really high quality shot there. Just a little off with his release. That miss right there will definitely leave him shaking his head. Carter Williams with it. Guarded now by DeMarcus Cousins. Carter Williams kicks to Jackson. From past the arc. Rebound by the Kings. Here's McCallum. He kicks to McLemore. Dishes it to McCallum. Passed again. From 13. Bank shot. No good. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Carter Williams, the pass to Jackson. Now here's Noel. He's covered by Thompson. Jackson misses. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. McCallum dishes to Gay. Here's Cousins. It's stolen by Carter Williams. A baseline J. Oh, that's offensive interference. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Sims is checked in. Robert Covington comes in for Noel. Richardson, he's checked in for Mba Amuta. And it's Crawford in for Michael Carter-Williams. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Hollins is checked in. Williams comes in for Jason Thompson. Caspi, he's checked in for Rudy Gay. And Stauskas subbed in for Ben McLemore. And McCallum kicks to Caspi. He feeds it to Hollins. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Well, every team goes into the draft looking for finishers like these. Here are the most efficient scorers among this year's rookie class. You take a look at Embiid and, of course, the Kobe. Well, it's safe to say these two have adjusted very well to the brand of defense played in the NBA. Their shooting percentages are fantastic. Yeah, they've been uber-reliable. I mean, about the only way to keep them from scoring is to keep them from getting the ball. First one drops. He makes one of two that time. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old school traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball and quite honestly guys we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things. Here's McCallum 
following the score by Jamal Crawford. And McCallum kicks to Stauskas. Hits it from three. Stauskas has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The 76ers leading by three. Outside Jackson to the inside. Here's Covington. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. And Sacramento has possession. Here's McCallum. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. There's the dish to Williams. The ball movement here by the Kings. Six on the shot clock. Baseline jumper. Cannot hit. Nice D from Crawford. 76ers have gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Richardson the pass to Jackson. Crawford left side. Here's Sims. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. You know, a team's rebounding is one of the great measures of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. Yep, they were ready to go right from the opening tip. Here is Caspi. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Stauskas kicks to Caspi. Pass to Stauskas. Releases. Again, Sacramento. Yes. 144 and left here in the first quarter. The drive by Jackson. There's the feed to Covington. It's getting late in the season. Let's see how the standings are out west. Look at Oklahoma City. Very strong season they've had. Always at or, or near the top of the conference. And right now they're in first place in contention for that. Exactly where they want to be as they close in on the postseason. And of course, Sacramento, right now, quite a ways down below. But right now for the Kings, you know, it has not been the kind of season they had mapped out for themselves. Their sights were definitely set a little higher than what they've achieved. Well, it's not been a, a total disaster, Clark. They're still perched in a spot where they can make a move, but they're going to have to do so pretty quickly. That free throw missing. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for Ray McCallum. And he sinks the second. The Kings trail by six. Here's Stauskas. Five points in the game. To the left wing. Caspi passes to Stauskas. Shot clock at five. There's McLemore. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Sims has got his third rebound on the night. Jackson dishes to Sims. Jackson down low, guarded by McLemore. Here's Richardson, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Well, you know, they've got a nice lead. Don't take any chances. The simple one-hander is just fine. Now here's Williams. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Jackson with it. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on Williams. The Sixers are certainly looking to build something special on the court. And to that end, they're planning to build a new 55,000 square foot practice facility close by at the Navy Yard. And right now, the Sixers practice about 11 miles away at a local college. That new practice facility, Steve, expected to open next summer, less than two miles away. Well, both from a competition standpoint and kind of player relations, I mean, it makes sense. Players want the best, and you get a top-of-the-line facility, makes it much easier to recruit in free agency. He hits the second from the line. Well, Sixers head coach Brett Brown, a basketball lifer. His father was a respected high school coach. Uh, and actually coached him before he went on to start at point guard at Boston University under Rick Pitino. 
Now here's McLemore. He's coming off a 10 point game against Charlotte. And when you talk about his scoring, Kevin, I mean, with the defense trying to pressure him, I thought he did a really nice job of getting them to overcommit. And, and you know, that's how he got himself to the free throw line. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Nine seconds left here in the first quarter. Kicks it to Sims. A floater. A shot. No good. And that does it for the first quarter. Philadelphia ahead, up seven. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far in Philadelphia? Really good sign offensively, the way they started this game out, getting a lot of hoops from close range. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get baskets inside. I know you were a three-point shooter, Steve, and a really good one, but it's always easier to score in the paint. So it's Sacramento. Seven-point differential on the court for Sacramento. Stauskas is the two, with Gay playing small forward. Evans is out there with DeMarcus Cousins, and it's McLemore at the one spot. Here's Stauskas. He dishes it to McLemore. Gay outside, six to shoot. Here's Cousins. Poke loose, and there's the foul. It's on Reggie Evans. And that'll be his third foul so far. Merlin's Noel checks in for the 76ers. Well, 76ers leading by seven. Now here's Carter Williams. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And Kevin, his passing is what blew me away. I mean, to see him orchestrate their offense so impeccably, that was a sight to behold. Five to shoot. No good. So the Kings will take it the other way. There's McLemore. And it's Noel with the rebound. And a nice job there defensively, just getting a hand up enough to bother the shot. Yeah, that was very nice. Impressive. It made it a much more difficult shot. Now here's Noel. Back to Carter Williams. Thompson outside. Philadelphia moving the ball around. That doesn't go either for Carter Williams. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Gay kicks to McLemore. And the pass to Cousins. Takes the 13-footer. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And we're also seeing a lot of fast break hoops, so this team doing a nice job getting easy points. And Bahamute is checked in for the 76ers. The Kings also with the sub. McCallum's checked in. Second free throw, no good. The 76ers leading by six. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. A shot by Carter Williams. Nobody around. Sinks the triple. Carter Williams has got eight points. The Kings trail by nine. And McCallum kicks to Cousins. Feeds it to McCallum. Back to Cousins. Releases from 15. Connects. The jumper drops. Seven points in the game. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Carter Williams, the pass to Mbamuta. Now here's Noel. Defense right on him. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Rudy Gay traded twice in the last couple of seasons. Really, it was his big contract that led to him being dealt. Because Gay is a quality player, but the feeling was his production just didn't live up to the cost. Here's McCallum. 
still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Gentlemen, Rudy Gay receiving laser eye surgery going into last season. His vision had been so bad, he was having trouble getting a driver's license. After refusing to wear contact lenses for years, he finally relented and had surgery. His vision has improved. It gave him a confidence boost. And Kevin will see if it continues to yield dividends. It can only help. Thanks, Doris. And for Gay, traded from the Raptors to the Kings in December. Really, he had one of his best seasons once he was in Sacramento. Now here's Carter Williams. Eight points for him. Shot clock at six. From the strike. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Guys in Sacramento, Rudy Gay shooting well and passing better. And, and Steve, for the season, did a good job of getting to the line. Yeah, and I think he might have read some of his critics uh, in terms of his game. He's been uh, picked apart in terms of his shot selection and that sort of thing. So, you know, that efficiency was exactly what a lot of people have been clamoring for. Well, Philadelphia, since the All-Star break, we get a look at the numbers they've put up. First and fewest turnovers a game. Twelfth in rebounding. And they're in the top half of the league when it comes to limiting opponents' offense as well. And what's most impressive out of all those numbers, Clark, is the, the few turnovers that they commit. Because now all of a sudden you're executing, you're putting a lot of pressure on the defense because they know they're not going to force a lot of steals and get out in transition to find easy points. Embiid, he's checked in for Nerlens Noel. So we can't get either to fall. The Kings trail by five. There's McLemore. McCallum dishes to Gay. The shot is off. Philadelphia's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And here is Carter Williams. He's got eight. Thompson outside. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Hollis Thompson is a slender 6'8 swing man out of Georgetown. And, you know, with his quickness and athleticism, I think he's got the ability to defend twos and threes and maybe in time point guard. And Hollis Thompson with good leaping ability. A nice finisher, Steven, transition. Yeah, you know, in the half court, more comfortable moving off the ball for jump shots. But as he develops his ball handling, I think he has a chance to really take advantage of his length and athleticism. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole. And far too often, that's the case for this team. And the Kings making a change here. Thompson's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Kings trail by seven. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. And McCallum kicks to McLemore. Pass to McCallum from outside the arc. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his full rebound tonight. Here's Carter Williams. He kicks it to Mba Amuta. Dishes it to Carter Williams. Pass to Thompson. Now Mba Amute. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Kept alive, Sims. And at last, they get one to fall. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Here's McCallum. He feeds it to McLemore. There's the dish to McCallum. And here's Gay outside. Another miss by Gay. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. Yeah, not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important, and it's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. Now oh, here's Carter Williams. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Thompson for three. The basket good off the assist from Carter Williams. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. 
They've done a really good job of knocking down their long distance shots here in the second quarter. And they're shooting just above 40% from downtown. That's outstanding. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Yeah, he has to be frustrated by how his offense is flowing. And I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. So this timeout might be a way to combat that. And Philadelphia making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the Kings head coach during that last timeout. He told them they should be dedicating themselves to hitting the offensive glass with everything they've got from now on, even if that means it takes them away from defensive transition. He also talked about creating good looks on the perimeter, saying we can hurt them from the outside. That should be a focus. Being in the position they're in, probably a smart move to go to the clipboard and switch things up while we're still in the first half. Kevin? Thanks again, Doris. Sacramento with the ball. After the Sixers pick up two. And McCallum kicks to Gay. They need this. And Ba'amute pulls it in. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Carter Williams, the pass to Jackson. MB dishes to Thompson. Pass to Carter Williams. And again, it's Philadelphia. Well, as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. I think it really could get out of hand, and you can credit their defense just as much as their offense for that. Here's McCallum. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And McLemore kicks to McCallum. Gay with no one around. Buries it from three-point range. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Well, 76ers leading by 13. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. Tries again, and Embiid lays it in. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And I'll tell you what, they've turned a lot of those rebounds into points at the other end. Here's McCallum. The feed to McLemore. It's Gay on the way. Misses the three. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Here's Jackson. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Here's McCallum. Thompson a screen on Carter Williams. McCallum the pass to McLemore. From downtown, and it's good. McLemore's got his first three points of the game. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Now, here's Thompson. He's got five. Good. So it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. Well, his first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Here's McCallum. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Kicks to Gay. No one near him. And he gets it to go. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. And the 76ers decide to take their first timeout here. He's definitely shaking up. They're using the timeout to let their trainer take a look at it. Some changes for Philadelphia. Andrew Covington's checked in for Mbaamuta. Richardson comes in for Thompson. And it's Crawford in for Carter Williams. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Hollins is checked in. Derek Williams comes in for Reggie Evans. Caspi is checked in for Rudy Gay. And Stauskas subbed in for Ben McLemore. Now here's MB. Coming in off a 10-point game his last outing. Crawford outside. Offline with his three. The Kings trail by 12. Here's Stauskas. Five points in the game. Here's the screen. Lock at six. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Stauskas has got seven points. Philadelphia leading by 10. 
Outside Jackson. Buries it from three-point range. Might as well just take it into his own hands and make that big lead even bigger. Sacramento's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And McCallum kicks to Stauskas. On the wing, Williams. He dishes it to Hollins. Williams passes to McCallum. Five on the clock. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Caspi with the bucket. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. Philadelphia's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Crawford, no one around him. Crawford with another miss. Oh, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide-open opportunities. Offensive rebound. Tries again. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, some great passes have come into the league this season. Let's see which rookies are tops in assists. And you look at Jackson. Third in assists and a great leader. And as the freshman class goes, he's got the highest basketball IQ of anybody. That's why he's at the top of those assist rankings. Yeah, we would say he's got a geezer's game. Old man game. He sees the court like a vet. Sometimes I forget that he's only a rookie. Merlin's Noel checks in for Embiid. Throws good for Caspi. The 76ers leading by nine. Outside Jackson. The pass to Crawford. Crawford right side. Just five to shoot. Here's Noel. Makes it off the glass. The Kings trail by 11. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the screen. Passes to Stauskas. Let's it go from 11, and the jumper is on the mark. Stauskas has got nine. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Crawford dishes to Richardson. Dives for it. Stolen away. Here's Caspi. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And that concludes the first half. 76ers lead by nine. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? DeMarcus, you guys seem to have a lot of opportunities to score, but have not been able to capitalize as much as usual. Is this something that you've talked to the team about? Uh, that's something I've been preaching on. Uh, they're giving us a lot of opportunities, and we got to do something with it. So hopefully we can keep them missing shots and we can um, get something out of it. Hopefully they're listening to your sermon, DeMarcus. Thank you. Kevin? Thank you, Doris, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for the third quarter of basketball. And now the third quarter about to get going. We're seeing a tremendous game here from the Cobra. Yeah, he was on a mission there in the first half, just trying to get into the lane every time possible. Aggressive attacking basketball at its very best.
The Kings trail by nine. Luke Mbamute out there with Noel. And there's Jackson. And it's Michael Carter Williams. And it's Embiid in at the five. Roman the paint. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Jackson drives in. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Gabe, and a strong finish with two hands. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Well, Ben McLemore seen as perhaps a steal when the Kings selected him seventh overall in last year's draft, but his rookie season was a colossal disappointment defensively and offensively. He really struggled to contribute. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, guys, Brett Brown overseeing a major rebuild project as head coach of the Sixers. He said, you can get tricked by potential, but ultimately it gets down to integrity, character, competitiveness, and toughness. When you cut to the chase, those qualities mean more to me. Those non-negotiables keep me on track. They ground me. Kevin, fascinating stuff. So much of building a team and a program is defining that culture and the expectations. Thanks, Doris. And Matt Lamar, an excellent shooter in one season that he had at Kansas. And you combine that with his athleticism, Kevin, and he's got tremendous upside. That's why he was so highly regarded as a prospect. second free throw and here in the second half of play we're just over a minute in Jackson setting the pick here for Carter Williams feeds to Emba Amuta here's Jackson nailed from three-point land Jackson's got five points in the quarter that shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed they got to get more intense And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Cousins with a screen on Carter Williams. And McCallum kicks to Cousins. On target from 13 feet. Cousins has got 12 in the game. You know, as soon as he recognized the height mismatch, he immediately pulled up for the jumper. As he should. That's a good decision. When he gets a clean look, he's got to take it. Now here's Carter Williams. He's got 10. Jackson kicks to Carter Williams. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's McCallum. They trail by 11. He kicks to Cousins. Takes the turnaround, Jay, and the shot is long. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Clark. Their rebounding is right there at the top of the list. Now, here's Mbao Mute looking for his first basket still in this one. A shot by Carter Williams. Nobody around. And slam dunk by Noel. And the 76ers lead by 13. Tell you what, they want to do a better job of boxing this fellow out than that. No one between him and the hoop. You're right, Clark. Yeah, put back slams are not what you want to be giving up if you're the defense. Timeout called by the Kings. Coach can't be pleased with their inconsistency on the defensive glass. They've been caught taking pictures out there. They're watching, as opposed to getting in there and securing the orange. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. McCallum, the pass to Gay. And he gets it to go. Gay's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And Bead in the corner. And Abamute kicks to Carter Williams. Outside Jackson. Just five on the clock. Pass to Abamute. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers have a very short possession here. And now look at Ben McLemore. Some stats on him. A breakdown since the All-Star break. He's right around nine points a night. Three assists and three rebounds. And the numbers might not reflect it, but the effort's really been there for him. Mm -hmm. He's going to get rewarded soon enough if he keeps getting after him like he has been. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Steve. He's been unlucky not to have filled up the stat sheet more because his play has really been solid.
The Kings trail by 11. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Gay kicks to McCallum. Back to Gay. Cousins with a screen on Bob Muta. And that one's good by Gay. Gay right now is pouring it on. The 76ers leading by nine. Upside Jackson. This is to Emba Amuta. Back to Jackson. Noel sets a screen for Jackson. Six to shoot. Took the opportunity when he saw it. 15 points for Michael Carter Williams. Well, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that. Cousins with a screen on Carter Williams. McLemore dishes to Evans. McCallum, the pass to McLemore. He feeds it to McCallum. Kicks it to Gay. Maamute with the steal. Here's Jackson. Noel with it. He has five. And they double up Jackson. And Maamute kicks to Jackson. Jackson can't get that one to fall. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Here's McCallum. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Six on the shot clock. For the three. Another miss by Gay. Well, remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. Evans with the steal. Here's McCallum. Cousins with a screen on Carter Williams. McCallum dishes to Cousins. It's rebounded by Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Now, here's Mbamute. Noel passes to Mbamute. Let's it go from deep. Jackson missing again. The Kings trail by 12. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Here's McCallum. Carter Williams covering. They need this one. And a foul call on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Rudy Gay is listed at 6'8", but he has a 7'3 wingspan and tremendous athleticism. That really helps him defensively, both on the perimeter and inside, where he contributes on the glass and blocking shots. As you talk about Rudy Gay's size and athleticism, Steve, he can play small ball four in a pinch. Yeah, and it also enables him to get that jump shot off over pretty much anybody. So if he's spaced and he's playing at a four and he can get that jumper off, now he's got the ability to drive past you because the floor is opened up. So it's very interesting when he's placed at that four position. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Sims is checked in, and it's Richardson in for Mbaumute. Well, you kind of expect that from him. You pretty much know what the result's going to be when he goes to the line. Now here's Carter Williams. He's got 15. And there's Richardson. That's good on the assist from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Kings trail by 12. Here's McCallum. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And stolen by Cousins. There's the dish to McCallum. Gay outside. Pass to Thompson. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Noel's got four rebounds in this game. Carter Williams kicks to Sims. You know, it's such a treat to watch the game for a living. It doesn't stand still. It keeps evolving. And as we see the leadership changing games, and the new commissioner, new owners, I think that process will continue. And hopefully they'll strike that balance between preserving the tradition of the game while also continuing to attract new fans.
and he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Philadelphia. Robert Covington comes in for Noel. And it's Crawford in for Michael Carter-Williams. And then for Sacramento, Derek Williams, he checked in for Gay. And Stauskas subbed in for Ben McLemore. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Sacramento with the ball. They trail by 14. McCallum dishes to Cousins. And McCallum kicks to Stauskas. Here's Cousins, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Cousins has got five points now this quarter. We talk about the new team owners. More than 30% Clark of the league's teams have changed hands. I didn't know this since 2010. I did not either, but again, as franchises grow in value, the owners are getting much more involved. And again, understanding the appreciation potential of this kind of asset. It's a bigger chunk of their portfolio now. It used to be owners were guys that kind of came through the basketball business somewhat and didn't look at it as something that could be a viable asset. But now it's um, it's a big business play. Here's Tuskers. Nine points in the game so far. Six on the shot clock, and he gets it to go. Stauskas has got 11 points. The 76ers leading by 10. Crawford passes to Jackson. With some arc. Rebound by Williams. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. McCallum dishes to Williams. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Here's McCallum. He's been patient so far, and nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Cousins. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. You know, when the size advantage is that pronounced, I mean, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation take it strong to the middle Crawford kicks to Jackson they set the screen the feed to Covington the 19 foot shot and he hits the jump shot Covington's got his second basket of the night the Kings trail by 10 and McCallum kicks to Cousins Here's Covington. He has five. Richards in the pass to Covington. Off target from three-point range. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. Not true. The defenders shouldn't relax just because he missed that one. He's capable of getting hot in a hurry. Here's Stauskas. He's got 11. And Cousins kicks to Stauskas. Goes back up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and most of shooting guards in the NBA so far. Well, you look at Jackson, second in the league, having an excellent season. Well, night after night, we see this group punish opposing defenses. If you pick one way to deal with them, they'll just find another way to beat you. Well, when you look at those numbers, you can tell that among the NBA's perimeter players, Steve, they're as explosive as it gets. It takes a lot of energy expended to defend any of them. Nick Stauskas was born in Ontario, Canada, seven days after the NBA awarded Toronto an expansion franchise. Nice little factoid there. When he was 10 at a Raptors open practice, he got called down to play some two-on-two -two against Vince Cole, and Stauskas buried a three-on. Now he's an NBA player himself. Man, that's a heck of a turnaround in about 10 years. Mm, there. Killing him with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Here's McCallum looking for his first basket still in this one. Stauskas, the pass to McCallum. Williams for three. Shot is no good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Crawford, no one around him. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got six assists in the game. The Kings trail by 15. Here's McCallum. 
outside Williams. He dishes it to McCallum. Just five to shoot. Williams a screen on Crawford. Here's Stauskas. Sacramento again missing. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Outside Jackson. And there's the pass to Covington. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Crawford missing again. Sacramento's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. They set the pick. Passes to Caspi. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. We've got 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. Jackson kicks to Richardson. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Stauskas, guarded by Crawford. Feeds it to McCallum. Three for Caspi, and that one's good. Caspi's got seven. Here's Jackson. Can't get it to go. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Philadelphia ahead. They lead by 12. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. The 76ers leading by 12. And a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth. They've got Caspi. Rudy Gay is out there with Ben McLemore. Then there's Ryan Hollins. And it's Williams at the power forward position. Jackson! And here's McLemore. He kicks it to Gay. Pass to McLemore. Gay against Jackson. Shot clock at six. Baseline J on the way. That's good, and the 76ers' lead is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Gay. Well, for one, he hasn't let him down. I mean, but a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. Here's Carter Williams. It's tipped. This is to Jackson. Philadelphia moving the ball. Carter Williams kicks to Covington. There's the triple. And the basket by Jackson. Jackson's got five points now in the quarter. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Outside Williams. Here's McLemore. Gets the front of the rim and out. Philadelphia leading by 15. Now Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And the bucket counts. And his eyes wait to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. The defense left him just a little window to get through. And he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. Mbahamute comes in for Robert Covington. The Kings making a switch here. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. These long-range shots look like layups out there, guys. I've been impressed with how well they penetrated tonight, too. Here's McCallum. Back to Gay. Gay left side. To the wing on the left. McLemore. Another shot. And the layup good by Cousins. Cousins has got nine points here in the second half. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. And Noel gets to Mbamute. 
Carter Williams with it. He feeds it to Jackson. Noel down low. Cousins is there, and that one's good. Noel. But well, plays like that, hustle plays on the glass, and then staying with it, being active, it really caused some problems for that defense. Now here's Carter Williams. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. Rebound by the Kings. Cousins has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Cousins with a screen on Mbamuta. Kicks it to Gay. The three. And it's Noel with the rebound. Noel has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Floats a runner. Shots good from Mbamuta. And the 76ers lead by 19. The Kings have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And McCallum kicks to Cousins. 11 feet away. That's good. Cousins has got 20 points. Here's Jackson. They set the pick. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And he jams that one in. That's an amazing play down in the big boy area. Powering that thing down on a much taller defender. Here's McCallum, the dish to Cousins. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Cousins has got 13 points in the second half. You know, the turnaround jumper, guys, is one of those shots that always just looks so good. I mean, it's got that nice, smooth, sinking emotion. Sweet. Now here's MB. And here's Mbamute. Shot clock at five. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Shot off the pick. It's hauled in by Gay. The Kings trail by 17. Out to the right wing. On deep, McLemore. He gets rebounded by Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Jackson, that's good. Kings have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Hey. Here's Thompson. Flanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Philadelphia leading by 17. Jackson dishes to Noel. Puts it up from 15. Tries again. Sacramento grabs the miss. Gay's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to McCallum. The feed to Cousins. Rudy Gay on the way. Six to shoot. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. Carter Williams gets to Mbamute. Now, Carter Williams. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Here's McCallum. He's guarded by Mbamute. McCallum, the pass to Cousins. Here's Thompson. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Well, they're trailing here, but you got to admire how hard they're playing. I mean, that kind of effort is a winning effort. They're working the ball inside and trying to do what they can to get back in it. Thompson no good on the free throw. Jason Thompson, 6'11", out of Ryder College. Not a big-time program, but uh, he was well-known coming out of that school because of his ability and his size. 
He's proven to be a pretty solid NBA player, very well rounded. Player. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. The Kings trail by 15. McCallum dishes to Gay. The pass to McCallum fires the three. Now here's McLemore outside. The shot is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And Jason Thompson able to step outside and hit a jump shot from time to time. Yeah, and he's a good, solid shooter in sport, Kevin. Not a great free throw shooter, though, but he does finish inside. I like him. I like him as rider, and I like what I've seen up in so far. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. And McCallum kicks to Cousins. Here's McCallum. He dishes it to McLemore. And Ba'amute pulls it in. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting uglier. I mean, his touch has basically gone AWOL. Carter Williams with it. Now defended by McLemore. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Off the screen. Carter Williams with another miss. You really don't want to see him missing those mid-range shots, but when he's open, he's got to shoot it. McCallum, the pass to Cousins. Gay dishes to McLemore. Back to Gay. Passes it to McCallum. Fires for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Noel's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Noel sets a screen for Jackson. Ball's not loose. Carter Williams against Gay. Cousins with a screen on Carter Williams. And Bahamute pulls it in. You rarely see him missing dunk. But the defender was right in his face on that one. And it threw him off just enough. There's a screen. The drive by Jackson. And Noel kicks to Mbahamute. 76ers moving the ball around. Jackson up top. Hits from the high post. Jackson's got 28 points for the game. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter. At least at the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're losing by 17. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Sacramento making a switch here. Evans has checked in. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, over that break, I listened in on Brett Brown's huddle. He told the team he wanted their offense to run through Noel. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. He also wants them to concentrate on working as a team at the offensive end. Passing, patience, and teamwork. Those were the messages. Guys, we'll see how Coach's direction pays off as this one winds down. Kevin? And thanks for that story, Doris. Cousins, another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Jackson passes to Carter Williams. There's the bucket good. Carter Williams has got 11 points here in just the second half. Well, tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance, an impressive win for the 76ers. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, Clark, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. Yeah, it was a team that was really in sync. They trusted each other and took the right shots. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And I like what they've done here. Made the plays they had to. That's why they'll be going up 1-0 in their season series against the Kings. You always need role players to step up and help, and that was the case here as everything was working for the Cobra. He was doing everything right, and the points seemed to come in bunches. He definitely had the hot hand. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Kings shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. Evans dishes to McCallum. Feeds it to McLemore. He kicks to Gay, fires the three. Here's Cousins, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Carter Williams with it. Pass to Jackson. Dishes it to Mba Amute. 
He feeds it to Carter Williams. And he gets the bucket. Terrific job taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. A lot of positive energy in the building. Now here's McLemore. Puts it up from 15. Off target. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Michael Carter-Williams.